Green is out, we're underway. Into turn number three, these thin tired modifieds with a good amount of horsepower, having a lot of fun putting it into the ground. Eighty-three of Henry Hanger in that really nice red machine coming out of turn number four. Out of Tennessee, he's showing the way. Oakley Gillespie in that one G in that yellow ride. He's in that second position. Into turn number three. Boy, Hanger starting to stretch his lead as the scoreboard power just went out. It's Hanger, Gillespie, Jared Gray. Those are your top three machines. Into turn number three as your leader is all by his lonesome. Working lap number four, four in and four more to go. Big lead for Hanger as he exits out of turn number four. Yellow flag, yellow, yellow comes out. Back and away for the Modifieds as they power out of the turn number two down the back straightaway. Now Hanger's starting to feel a little heat after that yellow flag come out. Six laps in. Gillespie's trying to hang on the outside of Gray. Ooh, looks like there's going to be a little bit of contact. Oh, some close quarters racing. Here comes Chris Yarbrough. They want to make it three wide going into turn number three. They clean it up. Well, no, they don't. They're still three wide coming out of turn number four. Some of the best action on the night of this modified heat race number one. Whoever wins this one will be on the front row for the main event. Now it looks like it's going to be the 83 of Tennessee's Henry Hanger out of turn number four. Checkered flag. Hanger takes it. Yarbrough grabs second. Gillespie third. Gray fourth. And the number 91 of Billy Tedford wrapping up. Green is out, holy moly, it looks like Hill on the outside is going to take the early lead. Out of turn number two, Hill goes to the outside of Duncan, Duncan in hot pursuit. He's in that second spot, look at Hurst going to the inside, trying to make a bid for that third position. Coming out of turn number four, lap number two complete. And a yellow flag comes out. Yellow flag comes out. Trouble in turns three and four. And all by his lonesome on the front row. Rusty Duncan on the inside of second row. Here we go. Boy, Tyler Wood on that eight made a nice inside move on Rusty Duncan. But the yellow flag flies yet again. Fields lined up. Here we go. We're green. Still only two laps completed. Six more to go. We're back on the gas. Hill on that number 18 with about a four car length lead over Rusty Duncan in the number 12.
Hill, Duncan, and Tyler Wood. Those are your top three. Chris Hill has always liked the high groove here at Talladega Short Track. Is starting to utilize it. He's halfway up the corners, uh, riding on them hard Hoosiers out of turn number four, lap number five complete. And a turn at number three. We're looking at two sticks. We're showing two more laps to go for the number 18 of Chris Hill. Duncan still in third. Tyler Wood, excuse me, Duncan in second and Tyler Wood in third. We have a car stuffed up on the top of the exit of turn in number two to bring out the yellow flag on lap number six. Fields on the gas coming out of turn number four. We're back to racing here at TST. Hill coming out of turn number four. Looking to start a Mikey Donahue's white flag. One more circle left to go. Tyler Wood in that second spot on that number eight as they exit out of turn to number two. <clears throat> Car stop, stopping on the bottom of turn number four, but we stay green. It'll be Chris Hill, Tyler Wood, Rusty Duncan, Tyler Hurst, and Bryce Troll running out the top five. Green is out. Modified heat race number three underway. McCree and Blakeney duking it out. Drag racing down the back straight away. Going into turn number three. McCree downstairs. Blakeney upstairs. McCree drifts up a little as well as Blakeney. Blakeney takes the early lead on lap number one. Got some good traction coming out of turn number four. And he gapped McCree by a couple of modifieds as we go yellow. That yellow machine. He's in the catbird seat. He's on the cast. He comes out of turn number four. The green is out. We're back to racing. And the yellow flag comes out just as Blake and he was starting to stretch his lead over Jamie Gowers. We got three modifieds that have gotten together out of turn at number two. Green is out. Here we go. Gowers. And Justin McCree outside of him. Excuse me, that was wrong. Number 33 was outside. That was Jordan Phillips. Let's keep an eye on Luke, Hart, Luke Riddle and that number 28. He's going to the inside of Gowers. Riddle from the back, going for second, coming out of turn number four. Jordan Phillips holding him off, but boy, things have definitely tightened up in the front. Three wide for a moment as Riddle goes to the inside of Phillips. Riddle to second, from 10th to second, and contact, and we have yet another yellow. Modifieds are back underway, coming out of turn number two. Blake now at yellow number 80. He is showing the way. Luke Riddle out of Hartsville, Alabama in second, and the yellow flag comes out. As the Modifieds come out of turn number two, Riddle is all over. Blakeney, he's going to go for the lead, and there's slight contact. Looks like Riddle put it in there. It looks like there might have been slight contact, and Riddle got a little loose. Oh, that is a tough one. He came all the way from the back and made a bid for the lead. All right, lights are out. Four in, four more to go in what they call the marathon of heat race number three for the Modifieds. McCree trying to sweep around Blakeney for the lead, making a bid for the top spot. Up high, oh, he drifts up. He's going to get some good momentum, and he's going to take the lead. 
gets around Blakeney on the outside. Blakeney fights back on the inside. Blakeney's got the shorter way around, but McCree's got the momentum. Blakeney tries to go to the inside. McCree hanging that hard Hoosier up on the high stuff. Around Blakeney once again, lap number six, Justin McCree. Now Phillips putting a move on Blakeney. Once Blakeney had what I thought was a comfortable lead, not anymore. And these modifieds go three wide coming out of turn number four, but they clean it up. McCree looking at the white flag lap. This will put him in a beautiful spot for tomorrow night's main event. Down the back straightaway into turn number three. It's McCree, Blakeney, and Phillips. Justin McCree coming out of turn number four. A great performance taking heat race number three. Here we go. The modifieds are on the gas coming out of turn number four. Schrader making a bid for the lead inside of Scotty Hyatt in the number 10. But look who's in the lead at green number 21 of Brady Qualls. Excuse me, Bradley Qualls. The 21 of Qualls showing the way as he goes into turn number three. Coming out of four, trying to complete lap number two, going up a little high. Scotty Hyatt, the number 10, your modified champion in that second spot as we go yellow. As they exit out of turn number two, working on lap number three, it is Bradley Qualls in that 21 green machine as he exits out of turn number four. Boy, I tell you what, Scotty Hyatt's getting really high out of the corners. Ken Schrader out of Fenton, Missouri in that number nine machine in that third position. Schrader joining the top two cars on running the high groove. Finally, these guys are going up higher in the banking. Six laps in, two more to go. No changes in the top three, and we have trouble in turn number four. Yellow flag will come out. Caution will fly on lap number five. <clears throat> Green is out. We're back into action. Boy, this could be rather dicey. Going in the corner. Oh, boy, these cars are going up high. Man, somehow Scotty Hyatt at that number 10 averted disaster and hung on, but he lost a number of spots. It's Brady Qualls, Ken Schrader, and John Smart on the final last half a lap. Into turn number three, coming out of turn number four, it's gonna be Bradley Qualls, followed by Ken Schrader, and we got one that's blown up. 